today's class we are going to talk about glaucoma and its treatment now uh, glaucoma is an eye disease it is characterized by progressive optic neuropathy that is progressive damage to the optic nerve of the eye and if this optic nerve is damaged it can result in the progressive loss of vision and finally it can result in the blindness now this is the structure of eye uh, we all are familiar with the structure of the eye now in the eye uh, is present the uh, this is the outermost layer called as cornea posterior part of the cornea is termed as a sclera middle layer uh, middle layer is called as a choroid now this is the iris ciliary body to the ciliary body is attached a lens now it is a ciliary body which produces a fluid in the eye and that fluid is called as aqueous humor so this aqueous humor aqueous humor is found to be present in the uh, anterior and the posterior part of the eye this is a liquid and this liquid is uh, secreted by the uh, ciliary body and this liquid it maintains the intraocular pressure of the eye it maintains the pressure of the eye and apart from that uh, this fluid called as the aqueous humor it also provides nutrition to the cornea and lens now this fluid it is continuously produced by the ciliary body and continuously it is drained out of the eye so uh, this secretion of uh, or production of uh, aqueous humor should be balanced with the drainage of the aqueous humor that means there should always be a balance between the secretion uh, that is the production of aqueous humor and its drainage out of the eye now if this balance is disturbed and if suppose there is increase in the secretion of aqueous humor or there is fall in the drainage of the aqueous humor that causes accumulation of aqueous humor in the eye and because of the accumulation of aqueous humor in the eye it is the intraocular pressure or the intraocular tension of the eye increases and because of the increase in the intraocular tension or the pressure of the eye this pressure also falls on the optic nerve this is the yellow colored optic nerve this is a nerve which uh, conveys the message uh, from the eye to the brain and uh, uh, that's how we are able to see so this uh, optic nerve it carries the uh, uh, impulses from the eye to the brain and because of the uh, increase in the um, or because of the accumulation of aqueous humor uh, this uh, aqueous humor uh, causes increase in the intraocular pressure or the tension of the eye and that pressure falls on the optic nerve it compresses the optic nerve and because of the compression uh, in the optic nerve there is progressive damage and which can result in the uh, progressive fall in the vision and uh, blindness now when we talk about the drainage system there are two types of the drainage system uh, there are two drainage system by which uh, aqueous humor is drained out of the eye one is the most important is the trabecular meshwork this one system is the system of trabecular meshwork and about 90% of the aqueous humor is drained by this uh, network now this is the uh, this is the uh, this i have shown over here this is the trabecular meshwork and uh, this trabecular meshwork it is located at the junction of cornea and the sclera cornea is the outermost layer anterior uh, part of this layer is termed as a cornea and the posterior part is called as a sclera so at the junction of sclera and the cornea is present the trabecular meshwork and this aqueous humor it is drained out through this uh, trabecular meshwork and from the trabecular meshwork uh, this aqueous humor it passes into the canal of uh, shell and from the canal of the shell it passes into the episcleral venous system and this is how it is drained out uh, aqueous humor is drained out of the eye and uh, this is a conventional method conventional uh, method of the drainage of aqueous humor and 90% of the aqueous humor is drained by this method uh, that is through the trabecular meshwork now it has been seen that over a period of time this uh, drainage system that is a trabecular meshwork system it gets blocked 
and because of the blockage of the system aqueous humor is not drained out of the eye and that causes increase in the intraocular pressure and progressive neuropathy and another uh, drainage system is the unconventional drainage system uh, it is not uh, uh, that important and only 10% of the aqueous humor is drained by this method and this is called as a uvo uveoscleral outflow now this i have shown in this diagram with the help of this arrow so this uh, aqueous humor it is drained from the anterior part of the eye directly into the sclera and from the sclera it is drained out of the eye so this is called as a uveo scleral outflow so there are the two outflows there are the true drainage system and if these drainage systems are blocked or they are not functioning properly it results in the accumulation of aqueous humor accumulation of aqueous humor increases intraocular pressure on the eye and this increase in the intraocular pressure put, puts the pressure on the optic nerve optic nerve gets compressed and that causes uh, damage to the optic nerve and uh, this is progressive over a period of time it can result in the blindness so once again uh, there is blockage uh, of the drainage system increase in the intraocular tension uh, normal uh, intraocular tension is less than 21 now if intraocular tension rises to more than 21 mm of uh, mercury uh, there can be damage to the optic nerve and which can result in the loss of vision now one very important thing to note over here is this that the drugs which are used for the treatment of glaucoma uh, they should either reduce the secretion of aqueous humor or they should improve the drainage of the aqueous humor so uh, the treatment is of two types the drugs that reduce the synthesis of aqueous humor or the drugs that improve the drainage of the aqueous humor now coming to the types of glaucoma there are two types of glaucoma one is the open angle glaucoma other is the angle closure glaucoma now in the open uh, angle glaucoma uh, uh, the there is wide and open angle between the iris and the cornea that is uh, the angle between the iris and cornea is white now this is the cornea and this is the iris now this angle uh, where the drainage system is present this angle between the cornea between the cornea and iris when this is white and there is sufficient space for the passage or for the uh, drainage of the aqueous humor uh, then in that case the glaucoma is called as the open angle glaucoma that means there the space for the drainage is quite sufficient but uh, uh, aqueous humor is not able to drain out of eye because of the blockage of this trabecular meshwork drainage outlet so this type of uh, glaucoma is called as the open angle glaucoma so open angle glaucoma accounts for 90 percent of the cases a wide and open angle between iris and cornea uh, uh, there is sufficient space for the drainage of uh, aqueous humor but uh, aqueous humor is not able to pause, pass out of the eye uh, because of the blockage of the drainage system it is caused by the slow clogging of the drainage canals that is the slow blockage of the drainage canals and this type of glaucoma develops very slowly and therefore the symptoms and the damage is not noticed second type of glaucoma is called as the angle closure glaucoma now here in this case what we find is this that the angle between the iris and the cornea uh, in angle closure glaucoma is found to be very narrow and narrow to the extent that uh, there is hardly any space for the flow of aqueous humor into the drainage system uh, that means this passage is this passage itself is blocked uh, this passage itself is not sufficient for the drainage of aqueous humor because the angle uh, is very narrow so in the angle closure uh, glaucoma there is a, a narrow angle between the iris and cornea and because of which uh, the drainage is very poor and it develops very quickly symptoms and damage are visible quite early
Now let's first uh, study treatment of open angle glaucoma. Now as we have uh, already discussed with you that uh, treatment is of two types. Uh, the drugs that uh, uh, reduce the secretion of uh, aqueous humor or the drugs that increase the drainage of aqueous humor. So first category of drugs are the drugs that reduce the formation of aqueous humor. Under this category, uh, the first type of drugs are the alpha adrenergic agonist. For example, aproclonidine. And these drugs, uh, they primarily uh, show the action on alpha 2 receptors. Uh, they act as agonist on alpha 2 receptors. And they reduce the formation of aqueous humor. Then second subcategory of uh, drugs are the beta adrenergic blockers. For example, timolol. Uh, it is a topical uh, beta blocker. It blocks uh, beta 1 as well as beta 2 receptors, but uh, the primarily uh, it blocks uh, the beta 2 receptor. And because of the blockage of beta 2 receptor, there is a reduction in the secretion of aqueous humor. And another drug is the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Uh, these carbonic anhydrase inhibitors also reduce the formation of aqueous humor. For example, we have acetazolamide and dorzolamide. Then second category of the drugs are the drugs that uh, improve the drainage of aqueous humor from the eye. In this, uh, uh, we have prostaglandin analogs. Uh, these prostaglandin analogs, they improve the uh, uveous scler scleral outflow. Examples is the uh, latanoprost and travoprost. Now, currently these are the drug of choice for the treatment of uh, open angle glaucoma. Uh, then we have another uh, type of drugs under the drugs that improve the drainage. For example, myotics. These are the cholinergic drugs like pilocarpine and physostigmine. Even though they are useful in the treatment of glaucoma, but still uh, these are the last option. Then uh, third category of drugs are the drugs that uh, reduce the formation of aqueous humor and also increase the or also improve the drainage of aqueous humor. Uh, example is the uh, uh, dipivifrine and uh, this dipivifrine it is a pro drug of adrenaline it increases the uveo scleral outflow as well as it reduces the formation of aqueous humor by its agonistic action on alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors now current approach for the treatment of open angle glaucoma is to start with the monotherapy monotherapy is to be started with the prostaglandin analogs which are the drug of choice for example uh, lanatoprost or with the topical beta blockers but uh, in case these uh, uh, category of drugs are contraindicated then uh, brimonidine which is an alpha 2 agonist uh, or uh, dorzolamide uh, that is a carbonic anhydrase uh, can be used in case uh, the above drugs are contraindicated and uh, if uh, uh, the first uh, type of treatment is not successful and the second type of treatment is also not successful or contraindicated then the last option is to use the topical myotics and uh, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors like uh, acetazolamide these are reserved for the last option now coming to the treatment of angle closure glaucoma as we've already discussed uh, the angle between the iris and the cornea is narrow there is not sufficient space for the drainage of aqueous humor. So therefore, the actual, the correct option is to uh, provide laser or non-laser glaucoma surgery so that the drainage of aqueous humor could be improved. However, there are drugs to terminate the attack and uh, these drugs are, uh, first category of drugs are the hypertonic mannitol 20% or glycerol 10%. Uh, these are infused IV and uh, what they do is to decongest the eye by, the, by their osmotic action. Another category of drug that can be used is acetazolamide. Uh, then myotics can be used. Topical beta blockers can be used. And uh, aproclonidine can be used uh, which uh, improves the drainage and that also um, reduces the synthesis of aqueous humor. So this is all about the pathophysiology of glaucoma and its treatment.